Hey, good morning, it's Owen Bigland. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Wanted another blog here on uh, strata fees, maintenance fees in Vancouver and Richmond. Um, oftentimes I'll be listing a property and uh, a, a potential buyer will come in and one of the questions I'll ask is what are the monthly maintenance fees? I'll tell them what it is and uh, depending on the complex that I'm selling in, um, the reaction can sometimes be, well, that seems like a high maintenance fee. And uh, they seem to be put off uh, uh, right away from it. And uh, the impression I get a lot of buyers anyways can sometimes discount or move on to the next one if they think that a maintenance fee is higher without actually doing a little due diligence and finding out where those maintenance fees are going. Um, because just because a complex has what the buyer might think is an elevated maintenance fee doesn't mean at all that there's anything wrong with the complex. As a matter of fact, it can be re the reverse of that. Some of the best complexes I've seen in Richmond and Vancouver tend to have a little bit higher maintenance fees. Uh, just because a complex has an ultra low maintenance fee doesn't mean it's any better. Uh, as a matter of fact, it can often show signs of trouble down the road because they're just not going to be maintaining the complex the way they should be. So you need to dig a little bit deeper with maintenance fees. Now, in Richmond especially, uh, one of the main things you want to ask is, is the complex on metered water? Now, Richmond works differently than a lot of other municipalities in the Lower Mainland in that we get a property tax every year and we also, at the beginning of the year, get a utilities tax or a sewage and water tax. Now, for a one-bedroom unit in Richmond right now, you're going to get a tax bill in February for about $700 every year. For a two-bedroom, it's going to be about $850 a year, and that goes up every year. Now, what a lot of older complexes have been doing in Richmond now to save some money, uh, and the City of Richmond had an incentive program where you could install a metered uh, system out at the front of the road of the complex, and uh, to do that, it would save you on your water bill, uh, and the strata then would pay the bill every year, or every month, and add that monthly fee to your monthly strata fees. So instead of getting that $700 bill every year, it's added to your monthly maintenance. So on a one bedroom, that's about $65 a month. On a two bedroom, it could be $75 or $80 a month. That's tacked right onto your maintenance fee. A lot of people don't realize that, but you've got to ask. Um, the other things is uh, with the depreciation reports out right now, I'd say probably 30% of the complexes right now have a depreciation report. Watch some of my older blogs on depreciation reports, but when you get one done, you've got to come up with three funding models. And all three of these funding models are generally calling for more money into the contingency reserve fund to start covering some of these major upgrades down the road. Things like roofs and boilers and windows and elevators. So. Funding model number one might be another $15 into the contingency fund. Model number two might be $35. I've seen another one, some of them that have as high as $70, $80, $100 more a month that they want to pump into the contingency fund. So generally, once you get a, a, a depreciation report done, pretty much always in my experience so far of the 30% that have got them, they're usually calling for more money into the CRF to help soften the blow later on for some of these upgrades. So you've got to ask how much money is going into the CRF every month out of that maintenance fee. Uh, the other thing is what kind of heating is, is in the complex? Is it baseboard electric? If it's baseboard electric, you're paying for it every month with your hydro bill. But if it's an older complex, they might have uh, hot water heat. Uh, in that case, your heat and hot water every month are going to be also included in your maintenance fee. So you're not going to be paying that $30 hydro bill every month. So I've got complexes now that have all three of those things. Money going into the contingency fund, uh, about $30 per unit, metered water, and uh, they've got hot water heat. You add those three things up and that's adding about uh, $135, $140 a month. Now the maintenance fee on this unit was a two bedroom was at $375. After you deduct those three things, now all of a sudden the maintenance fee doesn't seem as high as uh, you first thought. So, Keep in mind, again, you have to do your little due diligence and find out where those maintenance fees are going. Just because you see something that looks like a little bit of a high maintenance fee, after you dig a little deeper, it might not seem as high as you first think. I'm Owen Bigland, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.